Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, November 29th, 2018. And as you get up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him and use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise and thank Him for what He's done in your life. Our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 6. It's verses 31 through 36. Scripture says, And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend of them, to them of whom ye have hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much gain. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great. And ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful, and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Friends, there's a lot in that verse, and we were looking yesterday at the topic of doing good, and doing good to others, and doing good to those in the church, doing good to those outside the church. And that idea is reinforced here in the words of Luke, in the, in the words of Jesus in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 6. He says here in verse 31, he gives us an example in verses 31, 32, 33, and 34. He says, if ye, or do as you would, as you want people to do unto you, that is the way that you should live. The examples he gives, if you love them which love you, what more are you doing than other people? If you do good to them which do good to you, again, what more are you doing than anybody else? If you lend to them and expect a bunch of money in return, what good are you? What, what good are you doing to anybody? So you see, when we go out and we start living for Jesus and we start doing things for people, we start activating our faith, we start living out our faith, we need to be doing stuff because we love other people in the same way that God loves us. How do you look at people today? If you look at somebody on the street, do you immediately judge them because of their appearance? Or do you see them the way Jesus sees them as somebody that needs him? as somebody that needs the Lord Jesus. God didn't look at your appearance. God loves you the way you are. It's the sin that he doesn't like, and we need to love others the way that he loves us. He said in verse 31, And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. In other words, what Jesus is saying, how you want people to treat you is the way you need to be treating others. None of us wants people to do harm to us. I didn't wake up today and say, boy, I hope somebody slaps me across the face today. None of us get up that way. We all get up expecting the best day possible. And we need to be treating others the way we want to be treated. That's the golden rule that you hear about. Then he says in verse 35, he sums it up in such a great way here. He says, but love ye your enemies and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful, and to the evil. See, God's mercy that Jesus talks about here in verse 36, God's mercy is extended to those, those, of, those of us who have given our lives to Jesus, but his grace and his mercy is available to everybody if they choose to take it. So friends, how are you living today? Are you only doing good to those people that's going to do something good for you? Are you? Do you only love those people who's going to love you back? Take a look at these words again and see what Jesus has to say about that. Think about that as you go through this day. Now remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you and then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day.